friends good evening today i am going to discuss a very good topic about kit bomb i have received comment from a friend about kit bomb and its related cost of goods how it will work in oru using anglo saxon method so to realize i have performed few operations and then i would like to show you two different way and how odoo will recognize the cost of goods in case of kit which is purchased as a kit and sold as a kit and then kit which is sold as a kit but all the component are purchased separately so let's run the case so to do the case number 1 i have registered i have created kit 1 which is costing 100 and selling 200 whereby i am buying and selling entire kit with its component kit 1 com 1 kit 1 com 2 kit 1 com 3 1 1 you need and it is going to be considered as a kit bomb and now i have zero quantity this is a press instance on the odu where i have zero entries nothing much i just configure my chart of account with uh proper automated accounting in anglo sections over here so this is my configurations and anglo section is enabled on this instance now i have configured my product categorization which is like kit 1 first in first out and automated and then kit 2 as a category which is everything is similar nothing no difference at all this is my product master which are categorization under kit 1 and kit 2 just for our understanding in better way so now what i will do is first i will make a purchase from my vendor for entire kit 1 so once i buy one unit the cost is 100 let's say so when i place an order it will create a receipt for three component which are part of my kit from single vendor once i validate now i would like to see its valuation in the accounting so what odu has does odu has divide 100 rupees of my product purchase for equally into three component so now you can see three components has same cost divided by 100 so that is one way or who has automatically created costing based on my kit purchase price however inside my inventory inside my product master if you can see i have given 20 20 20 each is a cost of this component but as a part of kit it has divided equally and now when i am selling this product to my customer i am selling entire kit one at 200 rupees it will going to be deliver all the part to my customer now when i create the invoice and i see my journal items after confirming it will register my cost for all three based on my cost of purchase and then i will be able to generate my general ledger based on stock delivered with the same valuation and it will then register my cost of goods over here so that's how when i purchase entire kit this is how odoo has behaved now i will make a purchase of all three parts because kit 2 is not purchasable so what i will do is i will buy all three components separately and then once i receive this product it will value at the same level at what i have made a purchase of now if i see my 
general ledger, we can see 10, 20, 30 is allocated to each item based on its real cost because I have purchased it separately, 10, 20, 30. Okay. Now, I wish to sell this to my customer to and I am selling my kit to. It is available to sell. Okay. So as soon as I confirm this, it will generate a delivery and then let me just check the configuration first for kit 2 because I think I might have forget to create its bone. So I am going into kit 2. I have kit 2 com1, com2, com3 and I would like to sell it as a kit. Now my configuration is right and I am creating, I'm, let me cancel this order because it is no more valid okay. and kit to product is only buy route which is also not right, I don't want to buy, I just want to sell, set to quotation again and I confirm it, it will generate a delivery and all three components will be resolved with this. Once I validate, then let's see my positioning in ledger. Actual valuation will be credited and then delivered, but not invoice will hit over here. Now my next step will be creating a customer invoice. Then when I create a customer invoice, it will register actual cost of each component over here based on my purchase price. Now if I see my general ledger, we can see the cost of goods is registered at 60 based on the stock delivered but not built. You can see kit 2 is registered at 60 over here with this against this 3 item. So entire transaction has performed right way in Odoo with Anglo section, but the real difference is how I make a purchase and sell. If I make a purchase of entire kit, Odoo will divide my cost differently. And if I purchase each component at its own cost and then sell entire kit, Odoo will register actual cost of component into cost of goods. So hope this particular business case will help many people to realize if they are purchasing entire kit and selling entire kit, how cost of goods is registered here. And the second case is you buy component at each component at its own cost and then make and assemble a kit and sell. Thank you guys.